Good morning. Welcome back to Hammer's Garage. Today, we're on our 71 Vega again. If you uh, haven't been following those videos, you should go back and watch those. But if you just want the 411, basically, this is a mostly original uh, 71 Vega that I bought off of Marketplace. We come out here, we got it running. Uh, then we had a clutch problem and transmission leaking and so we redid all of that new carburetor well new used carburetor and right now it's just running off the uh, gas can so we're going to dig into the fuel system and charging system here today and hopefully we can take it down the road oh henry where art thou This uh, fuel pumps work off an oil pressure switch, which I don't know if you can see, but it's right here. So we're gonna unplug this. Here we go. Uh, basically, one of these wires gives it uh, power uh, when you turn the key on, and then the oil pressure switch takes over and feeds it power when there's oil pressure. I guess that way when you're you know, if you were to lose oil pressure at some point, it cuts power off to the fuel pump. I don't, I don't really fully know. But what I do know is that this blue wire here is supposed to be the uh, power wire to the fuel pump. So I think what we're going to do is kind of cheat, come from the battery, plug this in and see if we hear anything. And all we need for that is... Well, I left the battery hooked up last time I was out here. Tisk tisk. Anyhow, all we need for that is run some wire here. So I'm just going to shove this. I guess shoving it's not going to work. I'm going to have to clamp it on here somehow. And be careful not to have the pliers touch anything else. Burn the whole thing down. What a good start to a Saturday morning. There we go. I'm not going to cut any wire. I'm just going to go to the other end of this spool of wire and get me a little end. And we're going to just touch it here and see if we hear anything. This should be the blue wire. Huh. Didn't hear a thing. I'm going to grab my test light here and make sure that this actually has power it does so i want to test these feed wires with the key on and see if it's actually getting power to that oil pressure switch before we go back to the tank because i am honestly not looking forward to that <laughs> let's turn the key on See if I've got power here at all. Nothing there. Got it there. Okay, so this purple one must be what comes off the oil pressure switch. And it would not be hot until uh, we had oil pressure. Now what I can do is go back to the tank and, you know override this send power down the blue wire and then check it back there and make sure we're getting power back there let's do that Ugh. because you know what else are we gonna do okay now to the untrained eye this might appear to be an o'reilly brand brake parts cleaner but in reality it's a highly effective arachnicide the end is here that's right you all died today. Whoa. Including me. You want some too? Think you're gonna hide in here? Not today, Satan. 
it would appear as though we have a uh, high security gas cap here and I don't think I have a key for this huh hmm oh wait maybe we do boy it is sticky could fix that we'll just hit it with the peanut butter see if I can get something down in there yeah open it up a little get it right in there nothing can resist the peanut butter maybe this is not the key well, what is going on more peanut butter uh oh are we making it oh, we may finally be getting in there I'm maybe halfway in, so, you know, progress is progress. At least that's what the government tells you. How about we relocate this uh, laundry grid thing or whatever the heck that is and see if I can somehow get more leverage. What has happened with the peanut butter? I'm not a fan of these stupid nozzles. What if I just do like that? Uh, go see what else I got. Well, because I'm a creature of habit, I have more peanut butter. More, uh -oh. oh, that's way better. I'm beginning to wonder if this is even the right key. We may have to resort to drilling, which I really did not want to do. Dang it, come on, cooperate, shoot. Yeah, I'm very disappointed that so early in this program, we are already having to resort to aggressive negotiations. <sighs> All right, well, just remember, it wasn't me, it was you. I was looking forward to a nice, peaceful day. But no, somebody decided they wanted to be difficult this morning. Well, now I'm wondering if I didn't just screw up. Oh, no. Because we got to open the tank up anyway. You can always dig it out. Oh, there it went. To the bottom of an empty tank. Completely empty. Smells like bad gas in there. All right. Let's pull the tank down. Check this pump out. Let me remove the webs of hopefully a bunch of dead spiders. 
What kind of eight-legged horror story makes that kind of web? Jeez Louise. <laughs> you might think that the tank being empty is better for us, and I suppose in some respects it is, but it does mean we're gonna have to be a little extra careful. It ain't the liquid that'll get you, it's the fumes. turning these by hand to begin with instead of putting the impact on them because I can't afford for them to break. I need to be able to put this tank back. I suppose now we'll see if we can get them off here. Okay. Now that one doesn't want to let me put the socket on it. Can't fit the wrench in there either. Okay, now what? Well, see, cooperation is not a character trait that this car possesses. Side. Whole lot of it. Oh my god. You see? Look at that. Look at it. That is a whole swarm of death in there. Yeah, I tried to I tried to tell y'all, but you didn't believe me. Look at this. What was that? Oh crap. My weapon's rolling away. Somehow out of a whole box of gloves, I only have one left for protection. So I'll fiddle with the tank with this hand and leave this one way back here. Oh, I can smell the bad gas. Oh no. How do you get to the lines and such? Oh! Oh, great. Now we're dumping bad gas. That's not cool. I need something to put that in. Flower pot looks like a good option. <laughs> Just get enough out of it where it's not going to splash out. Somehow I got to get up in there and disconnect them lines. And that is terrifying. Good. Got my weapon back. I also found me another glove. I got another box of gloves in there, but they're blue. So now I'm black and blue. Or at least I probably will be the time I'm done with this. Okay. We have to make sure we're doing proper extermination first. Because I am not sticking my hands into the cavity of death here until I'm sure that the risk has been mitigated properly and thoroughly mitigated. Terrible, terrible situation there. Get off. Are we clear? Nope. All right, I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the plug here on this. It's just a oh lord, it's covered in spiders. Covered. Okay, just a push on plug, so that should be fine. But I still need to get the tank down. Huh? How do you get that? Is it done from under the car? And why is there three lines? A supply, a return, an event, perhaps? I don't understand all this. The clamps are all... Oh, 
more death. What do I got to do? Go up there and take them off? Probably. Okay, well, let me get the jack. Oh, wow. You can't get them from there either, huh? Well, I don't know how you do it then. Oh, crap. More gas. Oh, crap. Stop moving the tank. That must be the vent. So it should just pull out, I would presume, of this hose right here. Is that a hose or is it just a, a bumper? I'm going to have to put new uh, hose in here anyway. So why don't we just cut it? Make my life easier for once. There's one. Two. Got another one. Whoa. I wonder if we could just, in order to help ourselves a little here, go ahead and twist this out. Need my hammer. Now we have to be careful. We don't make no sparks here or we'll be like Marvin Martian. There will be an earth shattering kaboom. Okay, let's get you out of here. Okay, now I can see there is some nice, some nice strong fumes going on in here. Some good stout fumage, that's what we got happening. I need bigger cutters. Anyway, I started to get this out and I got these lines up here and I got most of them cut. I just got to get that one and I prefer to use two hands, you know, to prevent something catastrophic. You know, we're still attached. What is that? What am I cutting? It's so weird. It's a hose, but it looks like it's got a wire running through it. And I'm, I'm afraid to, I don't want to cut the wire since I don't really know what's happening here. So I'm going to disconnect this clamp and try to twist this hose off and see what's going on. Whoa! Easy, killer. Okay. <laughs> Let's get this out in the open where we can check it out. There's actually quite a bit of gas in it. Well, you can see what we got out of there. It looks like, I don't know, iced tea. Now I want to see about getting this out. Oh, that does not look bad at all, actually. Kind of surprised. <clears throat> Dang, the inside of the tank looks good, too. Oh, that wasn't a wire. Stupid. Kind of impressed. I don't know how well you can see, but the bottom of the tank doesn't look bad at all. And this, even if the pump did work, it wasn't getting fuel anywhere because our connector hose here was just goo. Okay, so I'll admit, this is a first for me. There are four lines that come from the tank 
Well, I take that back. There's five. So there's five. There's this one. This one that I did not cut. And then these three that I did. Four of them go up and looks like the hatch or trunk area. And I don't know where that one's going. But if you look right down there, there's only two lines that go to the front of the vehicle. One goes to the carburetor, of course, and the other one goes to that charcoal canister. So I, I don't know what all this is. We're going to have to figure this out here. Uh, who knows? Probably some kind of 70s environmental crap. But I got to empty this so I can try to figure it out here. <clears throat> And of course, you can see nothing other than this thing here, whatever that is. It goes up into here. I'd have to take all this apart. I'm not doing it right now. I guess what we are going to do is see about getting our uh, new fuel pump on here. No idea what all this stuff is or does. Well, it looks like we're going to have to figure it out. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Very interesting. Look at there where the ground actually fried it. Looks like that wire got hot and that might be what melted this hose to some extent. That and the fuel. And that looks to be like spot welded on there. Our new pump has terminal for it. But this is how it's attached underneath. So I'm not sure what the right approach would be here. Well, the ground wire is just on there with a push clip. So we're going to go ahead and pop that off. And of course, it breaks immediately. But that gets our ground wire off of there. And now we can work to get the fuel pump out where I can put the needle nose because I don't have any pliers or I mean uh, I don't have any wrenches or whatever this small this little teeny nut I know it's not the right the tool but you know what are you going to do there we go okay That gets our old burnout pump out. Need to get this goo off of here. It is properly gooey. Goo belongs in a box. All right, I'm gonna have to clean that off and clean off that terminal there and clean this off and then we can um, put our new pump on here. I don't know what kind of hose they had in there, but it sure did turn to gunk. I'm not worried about trying to make it look nice. I just want to make sure we don't get this crap in our fuel line here. Because that is a condition that would be less than favorable. Which is a fancy way of saying it would suck. Take that clamp off. See if we can get this old line off of here. And spray some arachnicide through there. Okay, yeah, good. Good, good, good. That blew a lot of crap out. Which is awesome. Just to be sure, we're going to do it again. Did you know that needle nose have little file teeth on them? They come in handy. Okay, that's perfect. Now I just need a little section of line there. Oh, look, they gave me one. And that's going to be way too long. I need to take off a fair chunk of it. <laughs> there we go. Now, which one of these is the hot wire? Big fat hands and little teeny parts never works. We got to figure out how I get from this to this 
and you know what we're gonna have to do here I'm just not sure well I don't really have everything here that I need to get this fixed up so I think what we're gonna do is load this up and instead of me running all the way out to the store and then back and then to the store and then back and then to the store and then back we're just gonna take all this and uh, go where I have more stuff get it fixed up and bring it back so we got all this vacuum uh, hose and line and it's it's all dry rotted and this is all dry rotted and I got to get some stuff to fix the fuel thing so I guess we'll grab some of this while we're out also I do believe I got this fixed up I got this uh, pigtail uh, wired down to the pump and also to the sender there and then I just capped off this hole with a little plastic cap but this is a diaphragm grommet uh, and after we get it up back on the tank, we'll throw a little silicone RTV in there to seal that up. But uh, it should be good to go. I tested uh, the sender, owned it out, and I think we're, we're good. We'll find out, I guess. We'll have some wiring to do under the car, of course, because we got to get the other end uh, wired up. But uh, we'll get this in the tank. I just need to get out the, uh, the high-security gas cap thingy. That fell in there. If I stick my hand in there, am I ever going to get it out again? Probably not. Oh, it's only razor sharp. No worries. There we go. I just want to try to pick up some of this residual that's on the bottom here. There we go. Yeah. Oh yeah, not not at all painful. There's our uh, fuel filler hose. Fantastic. I'm gonna need more rags. Oh yeah, totally charming. We're just gonna do the best we can to clean this up. I think my hand gets bigger every time, or the hole gets smaller, one or the other. I think that's probably good enough, mostly because I don't want to do it anymore. Let's find out how many cuts we have. Oh, none. Good. Well, it is breezy today. Let's get you back in here. My kit didn't come with a new one of these gaskets, so we're going to just kind of lube it up and clean it off best we can here. Okay. We got work to do under the car. So we got to start with this. This is uh, the blue wire is our fuel pump power. Black is the ground and this tan one is the sender. I'm going to cut this OEM plug. It's kind of wore out and stuff anyway. And uh, wire in our, our new fangled connector here. Now we got to get these lines figured out. Put some new hose on here. I got to get my gloves on first you know protection it helps if you don't try to put the thumb in the pinky hole and so forth it's the next day and I don't know what may have you know tried to wander back home overnight so uh, we're gonna hit this again I know there's some people out there that will, you know, poke fun at me over all this spider stuff and tell me that my fear is irrational and that uh, I just need to get over it. And to those people, I say, well, piss off. All right, that one I never cut or did anything with. These, I don't even know what this is. I don't even know what this stuff is, man. Can I even get the half of this? <clears throat> Why so many fuel lines? Some sort of sorcery or something. 
Now I'm basically having to try to guess how long I need this stuff, but I know the tank sits up in here, so yeah, I don't know. I'm guessing. We'll guess in here. <sighs> Never understood why they even need clamps. Holy smokes. It won't go on, it won't come off. Let's put a little peanut butter down in there. Oh yeah. Everything likes a little lubrication. This one, for some reason, is a 3 8 I don't know why it's bigger, but it is. I'm guessing that's the one that uh, yeah, that would be the fuel line. And I was going to say return, but it's not a return. It It doesn't if it is a return, it's a, a long way about going about it, but there's no return from the front. This goes straight to that charcoal canister. So anyway, we got it on here. We'll go get the tank, round up some clamps, go get the tank, bring it back here, get it hooked up. Hopefully all goes well. Got our uh, connections all made up and our new, you know, fuel tank wiring loom harness here whatever you want to call it i went ahead and extended the ground added another buck connector because you know the more of those the better i mean obviously right buck connectors buck connectors how many can we get in here get this going here laying down on the job oh there went my weapon Okay, fuel lines first, right? Get all these crazy lines hooked up here. Let's start with this one because it's on a actual clamp and maybe it'll hold the tank up for me. Since I only have two hands and, you know, not four or five. Mistake number one, I did not lube up the nipples. I don't even know if these are going to the right, you know, place. Lipple noob, please. Holy smokes, I got one. I got one. Okay, let's get you now. Because you're going to be a, a pain. I can already tell it. Okay, well, I guess we'll get this one. Because it's right here. And then I can say I got two. You know what I'm saying? I'll be 50% of the way there. And 50% is better than no percent. Or it's even better than 49%, really. And I totally oriented the clamp the wrong way. Where in the heck did my screwdriver... Oh, there it goes. Well, maybe not. I mean, I guess if you drop the tank, this is how you would want it, right? I don't know. I'm hoping I don't ever have to do this again. Okay, that's good enough. It's not even a fuel line. Speaking of fuel lines, I can't get my hand in there. to push the line on. Probably should have did that one first. <clears throat> Holy crap. How far on there does it have to be to be good? Let's see if maybe. Oh, I can maybe get a little more out of it here, this way. I guess I didn't, maybe I didn't lube it enough. Oh, joker. Well, if I do it right there, I'm going to get lube in the face. <laughs> Nobody wants <laughs> lube in the face. More lube here, please. And maybe... A little up in the hose. <clears throat> See what I tell you? Okay, that's that's enough. You can stop now. Okay. <laughs> Try it again. 
I don't think this car likes me very much. There. There it is. Holy crap. Tighten this up before something happens. Changes its mind or, you know, whatever. Okay. Now we just got to plug it in. Well, that was terrifying, huh? Basically, I, I had you balanced up there, okay? See these boards? Well, I thought they were nailed down, and they're not. So I sat on this one, shot that end up, and away you went. I bet you didn't know. Ow! Oh, jeez. Medic. Medic. I bet you didn't know watching one of my videos would be an amusement park ride, did you? Okay. We need to plug this in. Our ground wire goes here. And this. Whoops. This goes here. And now. We. Uh, should be able to put you back, I guess. Why aren't you going back the way you should? Well, every one of them is pinched. <laughs> How are you supposed to make a 180 degree turn with a piece of hose? Or did I not get them long enough? Is that the problem? I don't really know. And I'm not sure I care. <sighs> this one came out easier. Maybe it'll go in easier. Yes. Yes, if it'll stay there long enough for me to go get more tools. Okay, I'm back. Okay, I think that's probably good. Now I gotta see about getting this one on. I'm gonna need a bigger tool. Mwahaha. Gotcha. <laughs> well, now we can put some gas in it and uh, see if our pump works. And I sure hope it does because I'm not doing this again. So if it doesn't, I think we're just going to set the car on fire and watch it burn to the ground. I got two gallons here. Hopefully that'll be enough. Boy, these things suck. <laughs> Thinking about making chicken Alfredo for dinner. If y'all have got a, a good Alfredo sauce uh, you can recommend, hit me up. I just wonder if I turn this thing, maybe. I'll do it this way. Maybe that's how you're supposed to do it. I don't know. I hate these things. Oh, that seems to be going better. Thanks for the tip. How do I get the rest of it in there? Thought I had a funnel here. I guess not. Maybe we'll turn this thing around again. 
and get it this way. And what the hell is that going to do for me? Nothing. Okay, well, hopefully that's enough. Let's go find out. Okay, first thing we're going to do is the fuel line is down in here. And uh, the old, I'm going to take all the old fuel line off the hard line and replace it all. Uh, so we're going to replace this to here. This is a hard fuel line, comes out here, and we'll replace this. That way we can flush the whole thing. My screwdriver is not long enough, but I think I can fix that. Okay, come on off of there. Of course it doesn't want to come off. Why would it? That would be cooperation. Now, are we getting it? So far, it's a resounding no. <sighs> Holy crap. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Kind of like that. I had to bend the metal portion of the fuel line a little bit because... It did come around and there was a 90 on the carburetor before, but the 90 has gone now because it wasn't correct anyway. All right, we're going to have that run around to right there when the time comes. But for now, we're just going to uh, flush it into a bottle. Let's see, where did I have another clamp? Another clamp. Need a clamp. <laughs> here we go. Okay, we got our bottle here. We're going to run this in here. We'll run a hot wire to the fuel pump and see if it comes through. All right, let's touch this here and see if we get fuel. Oh, here it comes. Oh, yeah. Cool. Looks good, too. We are hooked up to the carb. Uh, we just need to plug this back into this oil pressure switch. Now, I don't know if the switch thing works or not, but I guess we'll figure it out, huh? Uh-oh. No, it's not going to work. It's broken. Hmm. Well, ain't that a hoot. Well, with that switch broken... We're going to have to do some hot wire in here. So I know this purple one is hot with ignition, I think. Let's find out. No. The pink one is hot with the ignition on. What I would like to know is if it's hot while cranking. Yes, so it really needs to be on a relay, but I don't have a relay on me. So we're just going to cut this in here, hook up our pink to our blue. We know it'll only be on with the ignition because it's not on right now. Nothing's hot right now. Put it in there with a buck connector. Go from there for now. And then later on we get the switch. I still have the pigtail. I don't know where this wind, you know, is coming from. But it needs to settle down a little. <laughs> okay. Let's see if that gets us what we need for the car to sit here and run. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's been sitting here running. And this, you know, seems good. Now we got to see if we got brakes. <laughs> And I don't know. Hmm, that's kind of scary.
they won't pump up. <laughs> All I got is a little teeny bit of brake right at the very bottom. That is not enough brake. Whoa, see? I still have my foot on the pedal. This driveway has a really steep grade. And, you know, if I was out on, say, flat road, maybe. But even then it's questionable, but it's certainly uh, not going to make that. I uh, fixed up a couple of these vacuum hoses, ran a vacuum uh, line, new one from the distributor straight over to the car, and it runs much better now. So really the car is ready to take out on the road except for the brakes. So the dilemma I have here is I can either work on the brakes here, but I'm sure Rob, you know, wants the car moved out because he cleared his driveway out. So we either need to get it on a rollback or a trailer or something or make sure those brakes are 100% because, you know, this driveway, it, it's, this is a slope and then this is a dip and then this is a slope and then there's another slope and another slope and the reason you can't see the end of the driveway is because it's like a cliff. So you see the dilemma I have because, uh, you know, if the brakes don't work right on this thing, we're gonna end up in these people's uh, garage over here. So I think what we're gonna do is go ahead and get some brake parts ordered for this car, whatever I can find. Uh, and then we'll decide whether we do the brakes there or trailer it over to my shop at the RV park and work on the brakes there. Either way, we're gonna get it on the road and you're gonna see it real soon. In the meantime, get off the couch and go wrench on something.